So we're here at CES 2014. And uh, who are you? Oh, hi, I'm Masood Syed. I'm the technical marketing engineer for MHL LLC. So what's going on here? There's a big, uh, busy booth. Yes, we're excited here today, oh, very excited. We're showing off some of our legacy MHL technology as well. But today we're announced, we have announced our latest latest technology which includes the MHL 3.0. MHL 3.0. Very big announcement for us because it does a whole lot more than what MHL 1 and 2 did. It's a quantum leap in technology. Quantum leap in technology. How can you fit so much data in a small cable? Well, this is where the scientists with, that have developed MHL, they have looked at the technology uh, very deeply and with their, with their top scientists from Samsung, Sony, Silicon Image, Toshiba, and Nokia. They've come with an algorithm that, act, that can actually increase your bandwidth from the legacy uh, speed of 2.25 gigabits per second to 6 gigabits per second using only just the same 5-pin five, five connection. So when some people do uh, wireless stuff like Miracast or the Apple stuff, there's nowhere near 6.6 .6 gigabits per second in there. Absolutely. If you think about it, sure, wireless has some level of convenience, but you're doing a huge trade-off. Imagine, if you will, there's, as you mentioned, there's, there's not enough bandwidth. Additionally, there's a lot of interference. The, the connection isn't stable. You can't charge while you're doing wireless. But MHL 3 and MHL 1 and 2, they all offer a robust connection from your source to the display, where you can not only get uncompressed audio and video, but charge and control. And with MHL3, we're crossing that boundary into just being a video connectivity standard. We also allow data transfer. So imagine, if you will, adding a hard drive to your phone without having to take off to, to convert back. You can do that. <laughs> but not with a full 6.6 gig, uh, 6 gigabytes. Well, this gigabits. is where MH, you can actually transfer USB 2.0 hard drives. 2.0. Exactly. Full speed. 40 megabits per second. All right. Okay. Let's go around the booth. Sure. Let's check here. The latest stuff that's showing off. So here's all the partners. We have more than 200 partners and uh, members in our inner consortium. Yeah. Uh, you can see Sony, Samsung, Silicon Image, Toshiba, and Nokia are our founders. But in addition to that, ah, some very please. big names. Yeah. Uh, Just for the microphone. Yeah. So uh, lots of uh, like 200, you say? More than 200, I believe. Uh, uh, we are also having the latest grades we're having. Even auto manufacturers getting in the game. Hyundai is one of them, <laughs> and they have a, they're going to have a very presence with some sort of automotive technology. So it's all over the place. <laughs> it's all over the place. It's a huge ecosystem. You're looking at 400 million devices in the market. It's not a new technology. It's a technology that has established itself. 400 million. 400 so million. it started in 2010. It started in 2010 where MHL 1 was specified. And in 2012, we introduced MHL 2. As I mentioned before, the leap from MHL 1 to 2 was an incremental one. We added more power. We added 3D mode. But when we introduced MHL 3.0, which is, which is what we're very proud to present today, it's where we make the quantum leap. 6 gigabit, gigabits per second bandwidth when we do 4K30 and we also, we also include uncompressed audio and video with DTS HD Master, Dolby True HD. Additionally, we can also support a four displays in one. Imagine your phone putting out four displays at the same time. How? So it, MHL 3 actually has a very different uh, mechanism to send data. Where MHL 1 used to send uh, Encoded data in a different format. Now MHL3 sends it in a, in a packetized format. So what you're doing is you're saving a lot of bandwidth in terms of sending the packetized format. And you can separate your video streams in that packetized format. Additionally, you can also send USB data within the same packet. All you need to do is put a header and footer. Nice. Let's check some of the demos here. Sure. So, <laughs> so what are what are we looking at there? Okay. What we're looking at here is wonderful application where the MHL ecosystem yeah. is expanded into the PC arena. Right. So this here is a PC on a stick. Dell is doing uh, one Dell with, with built-in HDMI. It's a product from Dell called Cloud Connect. Yeah. And essentially you're getting an OS from a Blade Surfer. So you don't have to worry about upgrading your PC. All you need to do is carry the stick around with you and you get a full blown PC with you. And if, if the processing, cross processing power increases, 
you're, you're taken care of by Dell. Nice. So, so uh, here's uh, remote access to the Dell Cloud. Exactly. And as you can see, there's one connector. There's no additional power connector required. You're, you're safe. You don't need to carry a big power brake with you. While you're taking this on the road, you can take it to you can take it to any part of the world where it has a where your display can have an your display has an MHL interface. Nice productivity. Let's check this one. Sure. This is the sharing demonstration. What we're doing here is showing uh, uncompressed audio and video. You can stream from Netflix, you can stream from other sources, and all without having to add an extra charging connector. The world your phone is in charge. Additionally, if your phone, if your TV has MHL built in, you don't need to buy a special remote control. It's all built in, it's all taken care of, it's all native. So I can use this remote to play a movie. Fast forward, stop, pause, go, go back to the original. So all this is Android. All this is built in. And it's just it's with no any remote. Software. And the remote that comes with your TV. And it's a simple cable. Once again, there's no special cable. It's a simple passive cable with a micro USB tip on one end. Yeah. And an HDMI tip on the other end. Nice. Let's check more. Sure. Do you have, what do you have over here? Here we're showing, uh, I think we're shutting down the website. Alright, this is game. Gaming was here. We're shutting down. That's okay. okay. So there was games here. There were games here. What we're doing is showing the potential of MHL. As, as I said before, MHL sends uncompressed video and audio. That basically gives you one of the biggest advantages ever. There is zero lag. There's absolutely no latency. Gaming is the most important uh, application where latency is very important. So, MHL, in that sense, when you play any game and you pair it with a gaming controller, you're playing it in real time and you're enjoying the full benefits of uh, the game altogether. You were talking about hard drive 2.0, uh, yes. is it 40 megabits per second? 40 megabits. Per 40 second. megabits or megabytes? Megabits. Uh, how many people are using that, those kinds of functionalities? Or is there any way that you can uh, combine, let's say, uh, the USB hard drive with the screen output? Um, sure. Um, if you're talking about um, having simultaneous video with a USB hard drive, as long as the bandwidth stays within six gigabits, you can add. You, you can do almost anything. I want to emphasize something as well. While you're adding your USB hard drive, you can also add USB mouse and keyboard. Uh, you also have a native touchscreen capability. So it's all built in once again. So let's say you connect your MHL phone to, a, to an MHL device or touchscreen device. You can actually use the touchscreen device to control your phone. Nice. You can touch the screen. You can also keyboard mouse and hard drive. Absolutely. And is there any like hubs like this, MHL hubs? So we just announced MHL 3 in, 2000, in aug late August of 2013. Uh, there is a chip being promoted by MHL. Sorry, Silicon Image. Apologize. Yeah. Uh, and like every standard, there has to be a chip and there's a time to market. So we do expect our founders and adopters to introduce products that will help uh, give you the full experience that and features that MHL can utilize. Awesome. Uh, that's uh, awesome. So looking forward to the next 4 billion uh, and devices. And I wanted to mention this as well. MHL 3 is completely backward compatible. Uh, if you have an MHL 3 TV, you're assured that you will work with an MHL 2 device. And vice versa, if you have an MHL 2 3 source, it will work with an MHL 2 or 1 device. So this is one of the ways that people are not Users of MHL are not left in the dust. They're not worried about buying a new connector. It's all convenient for the users of all levels of MHL. But supporting MHL 3 in the TV, for example, it's not a software update. It's not. A, it's just a hardware update. To, to achieve those high speeds, you need a new chipset. But the, the chipset actually can revert back to the MHL 1 and 2. It's intelligent enough to go back to the legacy version of MHL 1. 